Safety brings little relief. Malik Abdu Aisha and her children recently crossed into Turkey helped by a people smuggler. The situation was horrific. There were three or four Russian planes bombing our village. It wasn't just me who left. The entire village left, except for a few elderly men who stayed. Their village is now under the control of the government, all part of its push, backed by Russian air power, to take back the city of Aleppo. Every day rockets were falling. Seven-year-old Ruya says rockets were falling every day. She asked her mother to close her ears to drown out the sound. A minority have made it into Turkey, the border remains closed. So people either wait nearby, hoping for that to change, or they've moved to other towns like Azaz, north of Aleppo, a town that is now at bursting point. The thing that we're, we're very concerned about is the large amounts of people who are moving. Um, the front lines have shifted and, and bombing has increased, so people are just insecure. So we, we're seeing, in the last few days, we've seen at least uh, 23,000 uh, people leave, leave their homes uh, and move towards the Turkish border. Turkey's providing aid to those in this no man's land, still technically in their own country, but nobody wants to belong here. Turkish officials say that tens of thousands of Syrians could flee the fighting around the Aleppo if the intensity of the campaign continues. And they will let them in. But for the moment, they say the numbers on the borders don't warrant them to open their gates. Turkey already hosts over 2.5 million Syrian refugees, especially in border cities like this one here in Gaziantep. The closed border means Malek's husband is stuck on the other side. He left their home at the very last minute. He tries to join them in Turkey every day. I just called him and he said it's impossible, we can't get in. So now we're separated, each one in a different place and homeless. She says leaving Syria is like leaving their soul behind. Turkey doesn't want any more refugees and no one wants to be made homeless. But it seems there is no choice.